right. In this problem, again, it's same start as before. You factor it completely. <clears throat> so the first fraction's numerator has binomial factors. First terms of t, the last terms have a product of negative 6, a sum of negative 1, so minus 3 and a plus 2. In the denominator, okay, this is a perfect square trinomial. Again, you could just find binomial factors. The two factors of 9 whose sum is positive 6 is plus 3. So you have t plus 3 either squared or t plus 3 times t plus 3. Move to the second fraction. t plus 3 is uh, uh, first degree factor, no common factor. So it's there's nothing to simplify on that. The t squared minus 4 is the difference of squares. So it can factor into the sum and difference of the terms being squared. So sum of t plus 2, difference t minus 2. So once you get it completely factored, you can now look to cancel any common factors. So nothing, t minus 3 doesn't cancel. The t plus 2 does. t plus 3 cancels with one of these, still leaving 1. When you look across the top, t minus 3 is the remaining set of terms. Across the bottom, we have a factor of t plus 3 and a factor of t minus 2. We need to identify any domain restrictions that got canceled that are not apparent in the simplified form. So again, even though a t plus 3 got canceled, they didn't all get canceled, so we don't need to account for that. We see here that the t cannot equal a negative 2. That's not apparent in the simplified form, so you need to include that as a separate uh, restriction.